talking about playoffs. Finally, we're talking about the playoffs in college football. And Pete and I are going to give you a video that you will be able to save and mock come December because we're going to talk about our playoff teams. Question is, who are your four? My four are going to be Florida State, very original. Right. Alabama, I'm a high risk guy. I'm going to go with Oregon and Ohio State. That leaves the Big 12 teary eyed. Andy, who are your four? Well, you took one of mine, and I may have to flip it around a little bit. Okay. So I'm going with Florida State, too, because look at what they bring back on offense. and wow. They got some, some NFL guys on defense, and they're just going to be good. I'm going I'm to go out on a little limb here. The South Carolina Gamecocks. Okay. I'm sure, they've never played, they never played in a BCS game in the BCS era, but they've 33-6 and six over the last three years. Mike Davis, one of the best running backs in the country that people aren't talking about. Dylan Thompson will come in. The offense will look a little more like a fun and gun type thing because he can throw the deep ball pretty well. I think Steve Spurrier is going to have some fun with him. My third team is UCLA. We'll talk about a first-round quarterback there, Brett Hundley. Yeah, he's uh, he is outstanding. Noel Mazzoni, their offense coordinator, really excited to come back to work this season because of what he can do with Brett Hundley, with the talent they have around him. They've built up that offensive line. They've been perpetually young on the line, it seems, for three years. Now they've got some stability there. Defensively, you've got Miles Jack, who might be the most exciting defensive player in the country, who also happens to play a little bit of running back. I think UCLA is finally going to break the Oregon-Stanford stranglehold on the Pac-12. And my fourth one is Michigan State. Michigan State guys watched that national title game last year and were saying, you know what? We could have played with either one of those teams. I think this year they're going to get their chance. They have to obviously get past Ohio State in the Big Ten East Division. I like what they've got. I like the fact that they seem to understand what it takes to win.